Hi everyone uh, and the Tormach Operators Group. Uh, this is Bill and um, some of you have asked you know, how, how I'm coming with the PCNC 1100 and I figured I'd just do a quick um, uh, live broadcast uh, in Facebook for you to check it out. Um, so far um, we've got a lot of the processes done. Um, I have um, done a little bit of inside the machine we've installed the power draw bar um, did that um, got that working and, and tested and everything is working fine um, after that um, went and uh, yesterday we mounted the uh, automatic tool changer on there and if you don't have one um, you don't often get a chance to see it from different angles because it's usually in an enclosure and, and everything but you know I'll do my best to give you a view of what's going on there um, there was quite a bit of, of work involved in this you have to take off um, um, Played on the side of the uh, z-axis you have to install this module as uh, electric solenoid and a circuit board in there and you uh, plug in it's it's more of an interface board you plug in all sorts of things to this including like this is the foot pedal wire coming out now where uh, before there was a power cable um, and that all gets wired down into this um, this board here um, on one side there's a uh, stepper motor driver and another interface board and you know on this side there's all the, the solenoids and the uh, pressure sensor and everything so um, we got those things in uh, also got the uh, automatic oiler uh, in place and everything uh, the part that was giving me fits uh, was wearing all of this stuff into Um, that uh, bus board with uh, all the fuses and then particularly going down into the um, variable frequency drive uh, you run a cable off into that so it's it's been interesting there's been a few hiccups along the way there's a few things that I uh, um, had problems with there's a few things I like uh, there if anybody knows how to um, change the resolution on the monitor I would love to know because um, right now um, when I use the uh, mono price monitor it does not uh, adjust the resolution so I'm only seeing part of path pilot so I ended up uh, uh, finding an old uh, Dell monitor that I had and putting that on there um, you know, I don't, I don't know. So far, so good. Um, the machine does run. Um, things are going in place. I'm hoping that the automatic tool changer won't take too much longer to uh, to deal with. Uh, there's a lot of tweaking you got to do with the, uh, I think they've changed the meaning of that word. There's a lot of adjustment you have to do um, to the automatic tool changer to, to get it all aligned and everything, and that should happen tomorrow. And if that's the case, then I can put the enclosure on it and uh, call it quits. So um, I just thought I would let you know, you know, what I was up to. Um, so far, Tormac has been very good with customer service on the couple of questions that I've had um, from them or for them. So I'm very pleased with that. So that's it. Um, thanks uh, for watching this. And, uh, you know, let me know. Anything that you want to know or um, any suggestions uh, for how I should do things, I really would appreciate them. So thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, it's Bill again. A um, little more update on where I'm getting uh, with this uh, Tormach build project. Uh, it's taken quite a bit um, longer to do some things than I originally thought, but that's the nature of the beast. Um, I spent most of the day today wiring um, the automatic uh, tool changer into place. Um, 
it has to interface with the power drawbar in order to make things happen. And um, you can see this automatic tool changer mounted to the machine now. Uh, yesterday, uh, my friend John came over and we uh, lifted it in place. There are a couple of things we had to watch out for, like uh, getting a nice gap between the uh, linear rail and the side of the uh, spindle head um, to make sure that that was good. And we also had to uh, set it level um, with the machine in two directions. So got that in and then there's some um, air hoses that you have to put into place that lead back to this massive panel on the back of the mill. Um, this is an air pressure sensor that uh, will lock the spindle if the air pressure drops too low. Um, there's a few more other things. Back On the back of this board is a uh, stepper motor driver and another circuit board that uh, uh, do a bunch of stuff with the machine. Mm -hmm. And up uh, top here, we also have a circuit board that interfaces all of these different things uh, with this solenoid that uh, uh, we'll have to hook up. That uh, solenoid's going to get air from here. Might as well do that while I'm thinking about it. Uh, uh, that'll get uh, the air to the power drawbar. All the air will come in here and then be distributed out through this network. There's also um, a lubricator and a filter that we've got to put on. But you, you adjust the whole um, automatic tool changer here and here for tilt and, and uh, you know, to keep it upright. So that's kind of where we were. And then inside of the control box, we ran a bunch of stuff. Uh, we'll get some light on that subject there. Ran a bunch of stuff up here to the uh, fuse bus and plugged those in. Um, in fact, there's a daughter board on top of that that we had to plug in and a few wires. And then the part that made me nervous was we had to open up the variable frequency drive and uh, put two wires uh, into that as well. So um, I haven't fired this up and I don't know yet whether we got it all good. But I intend to, um, you know, triple check the wiring and everything before I uh, go forward. So that's um, kind of where we're at. Um, just a word about the tool changer. It holds 10 tools. And, um, you know, you can see I've already got um, one tool in the spindle uh, for setup purposes. But uh, it should be able to raise up this slides over, uh, air happens and it releases, this raises up, spins around, gets the next tool, drops back down, um, the air happens and then it grabs the other tool. So that's what we're, we're looking at. It's um, pretty simple when you look at it, but um, it was probably a bear to engineer. So anyway, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. I, uh, uh, hope you guys aren't tired of these yet because um, I'm not done and um, you know I'm also using these for YouTube later and uh, a few other things I'm taking some separate videos and things like that but there's there's not much I was planning to show you as far as electrical wiring or anything went because it just uh, I'm not willing to take that risk um, I'm not an electrician and um, you know if somebody were to uh, accidentally electrocute themselves because of something I showed them. I, I, I would feel terrible, and uh, I'm sure they would want to sue. I can't afford that. Nobody's got time for uh, that kind of stuff. So I'll leave the electronics and the electrical stuff to the electricians who are on YouTube or whatever, and they can they can go through that. But um, I really uh, really like the way this is all coming together. 
So um, I hope to be making chips soon because, um, you know, that's why I got this. So um, I hope you enjoy these things. I know uh, I didn't give you any notice that this was going on, so there's only a couple of folks walk watching. Um, I know uh, Willie Packard is one of them, and, uh, you know, he's a pretty cool dude, uh, works locally in the area was a student of mine uh, at Morrisville for for a bit and uh, he uses he built a CNC in his a CNC router in his garage uh, that uh, he used to make molds to make um, longboard surf uh, longboard skateboards and uh, you know pretty impressive stuff and now he's working at a local prototyping shop so that's pretty cool um, he's uh, really doing uh doing well and i'm glad that he got a chance to tune in and check this out so um that's pretty much it if um if you guys have any questions for me just leave them uh below if, or if there's anything that you want to see before i get this all boxed up and enclosed any further um let me know because um you know once i put it in the enclosure i don't intend to go back in there anytime soon so all right I hope you guys have a great night. Um, take it easy.